What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a drum sampler and break each drum into its own separate mix channel for more control. Now, first thing we're going to do, this is going to be a more technical tutorial, but we're going to start with Kong, right? So Kong, you notice everything is bust and coming out of this one mix channel. If you want to change that, there is a way to do so, so that you can have full control over your drums, right? Now, in order to do that, you're going to flip over to the back and you're going to get crazy with some wires, right? So let's close this for a second. Now you can see there's outputs three, four through um, three through 16, right? But you notice there's 16 drums. So the first two outputs are also going to be connected to this left and right. So we're just going to disconnect those and we're going to get rid of this mix channel. Now what you can do is create a new mix channel and we're going to start with two specifically and we're going to call this drum one and we're going to call this next one whoops drum two all right so in order to get these going into the correct drum we are going to move the left on this main audio out into the first mix channel and when you do that it'll automatically connect both of them now, in order to circumvent that, you can hold down shift and it will only connect one. And then for the right, we're only going to drag it to the left side. Now, right under that L, you'll see it says mono. That means it's going to play the drum in mono and it won't just be on the left or right side. All right. Now, the next thing we have to do in order to get this working is come into the drum output section. Now, the drum output is going to master effects. That is this area right here. Instead, we want it to not go out that way. So we're gonna go to main output, left and right. And now it's only coming out the left and right. And in order to make sure it's only coming out of one channel, we're gonna have to pan this. All right, you pan it all the way to the left. And if you wanna have more control over the panning, you now control it from here, right? So we're gonna do the same thing for this snare. We're going to come here, change the output to left and right. And then we're going to pan this to the right. Pan it all the way. And we got a little bit of reverb coming into the left channel. So we'll turn these effects off. And now it's only coming out of the right channel, the correct channel. Okay, now you would continue to do that for the rest of these 16 drums. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do the next few and then you should be able to duplicate the that from there. I'm just going to do three and four and then you can complete the rest and save this in your template so that you can use it this way if you prefer to. Right, so let's make a couple more mix channels and I'll show you three and four. Cool, now we have four channels here. Let's go ahead and connect this three. Hold down shift. Get four. And again, you'll notice these effects are triggering here and bleeding into the kick drum channel. We're gonna pull this knob down so that we stop getting the reverb and uh, effects to that channel. And now, now the technical thing with these drums is that these are coming from the same sampler and you'll see the little numbers in the corner right here, seven, seven, seven. So all the hi-hats are gonna come out of the same channel. So we actually won't need to pull four. We can just use three. So I'm glad I showed you that. That is a technical thing about some of these Kong patches. They pull from the same sampler pad. To do one more, we could pull this one right here. That is drum five, hold down shift, connect it here. Open up the drop down window. And we're going to click on, you can put it in four if you want to since four isn't taken. But we're gonna go to five just to keep it organized and let's go ahead and pan it and we'll close this to see all right cool and 
that's how you navigate getting separate mix channels for your drums of course you would name these something more specific this also comes in handy when you want to bounce your track out and you don't want all your drums on one bus channel all your drums will be separate when you go to export your stems for BeatStars, Airbit, whatever platform you use or whatever artist you're working with for their engineer. Let's move on to the next sampler. Now Red Drum is gonna be a lot easier. Red Drum, all you gotta do, create the mix channels you wanna create. You'll probably have 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. Cool, now we have 10. And here in the back, you just drag these inputs here just like that and all of your drums will have their own mixer channels and you can add effects to each one of them separately cool i have an extra one i can get rid of that now we trigger these drums cool those are all your red drum drums. Next we have umph. Let's create another rack. It's gonna be similar to the red drum, right? Keep in mind when you're breaking out these mixed channels in umph, you will lose access to the effects because you will be bypassing them going directly out. So separate outputs break internal routing. Once we connect the first couple of drums, let's do one through four as simple as that flip to the front select this one and now it's coming out of that channel here now if we add echo the echo is going to be on this bus channel but it won't be in this separate channel right but if we add a flanger these effects will be directly added to the sample. So keep that in mind. Now this same thing applies to the Kong. The only difference is the only effects that will be present on your drum are the ones in these two modules, these two slots. So if you wanna add noise, that will be a part of your drum. But if you're using bus effects or master effects, you are breaking the internal routing and bypassing those. Now that is how you separate your drums and your drum samplers into their own separate mix channels. Now, mixing is a loaded topic. So if you want some tips on how to get cleaner mixes with your drums, with your melodies, watch this video next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.